Welcome to the Campo Verde elective course video. Please note that not all of our electives are featured in this video. And for a full list, please be sure to check out the course description book. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to see how the students really feel about this class. I feel like my favorite part is when we like have an assignment where we have to create like a movie or a clip. They all get to work together and just like express our own ideas. Getting out there and just filming things that we think are funny and just show to other people. When you see your film on the screen and other people watching, it just kind of gives you that emotion like that's my piece and I just love that. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm a sophomore and I took digital media because I needed another fine arts or CTE credit and this counts for CTE. And I didn't really know what I was getting into, but it was totally worth it. I do a lot of acting and stuff, so you get to learn the more like film side and technical side, which gave me like a whole new point of view to as a performer, being able to like news anchor and do camera work and edit. And it really gave me a whole new appreciation for the business of film. And I enjoy taking it. I plan on taking it all four years. And I recommend you do the same. Hi, I'm Vince. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm a senior. I'm Will. I'm a senior. I'm Jordan. I'm a senior. Uh, so yes, uh, digital media is a very fun class. You should definitely uh, sign up uh, if you're looking for a new experience. Uh, something completely different from anything else you're going to get here. This is totally uh, the place to be. You learn a lot about video making and editing and broadcasting um, from really just any aspect of what you would be doing. Uh, we've all been here for a really long time, so we know all the ins and outs. And I, we can all definitely tell you that it's, uh, it's really fun. Miss Fredette is really cool. Yes. You can make a lot of cool videos. You can even, if you really want to, make some MLG 360 trick shot videos. You can be the next big YouTube vlogger. I mean, come join this class. The opportunities are endless. For me, I say come join this class because I've gained so much experience from this class and got a lot of great opportunities. Interviewing Larry Fitzgerald, um, interviewing our sports players, um, commentating, sideline reporting, all of it. So I'm going to go to ASU next year, so I've gained so much. And for me personally, I got to go to all the football games and record them live, and it was just a really cool aspect knowing the technical side of everything in this class, and I've already I've used the knowledge I've gained and already had in a positive way, and I can actually use that down the road for my educational career. So yeah. Sign up! Join sign up, media. yeah. What are you doing? Why are you not signing up? What are you doing? Sign up! Good morning, Coyotes! I'm Vincent. And I'm Jordan. Here's what we got going on our campus today. Do you remember 21st night, September? Love was changing the minds, pretenders while chasing the clouds away. Hearts oh, were ringing in the key that souls were singing as we danced in the night. Remember how the stars told the night.
of the yearbook. yearbook. We're the ones that work with the other staff members and the other editors to design the pages and make sure the staff are covering and getting their pages done. And this is Veronica. She likes the work parties and Wednesday team building activities. She's a party girl though and has a very specific taste in music. Doing all the work parties and getting to know the staff is really what takes the stress out of your life. Don't tell me Hi, this is Sydney and she's the copy editor. And this is Kyle, he's the photography and sports editor. And this is Veronica, she's super excited because she just found out that yearbook 2 is going to be weighted. What's a weighted grade? A weighted grade is when you get an A on your transcript, it shows up as a 5.0 instead of a 4.0. Since I've been taking yearbook since freshman year, it'll be weighted for me next year. Yeah, so if you're looking for a class to get you involved and raise your GPA, you should take yearbook next year. We love doing yearbook and totally think you should join!
just a young Sonic.
Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Steve Wood. I'm the Senior Aerospace Science Instructor at Camp Verde High School in charge of the Junior RTC program. Uh, I was in the Air Force for 32 years. Uh, my skills are, I was a combat pilot. Uh, I'm one of the instructors here. I'd like to welcome you to this video and uh, I'd like you to listen to the cadets in the program. They can tell it better than I can. My name is Hunter Hedick. I'm a senior. I'm a fourth year cadet in ROTC and I'm the executive officer. Uh, the benefits of ROTC, it not only earns you your PE credit, but it will also earn you an elective credit. Uh, what I like about ROTC is it prepares me to be a leader, gives me discipline, and allows me to um, set myself at a higher standard than I normally would. Uh, I joined ROTC because I knew eventually I would want to join the military, uh, and that's what I'm doing. So this would, I knew that ROTC would help me prepare myself to then further my career in the military. My name is Audrey Landers. I'm a sophomore and I'm the Deputy Corps Commander. ROTC is a leadership program that focuses on integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. It allows kids to further their leadership opportunities and focus on growing as a person. So as a Corps, we all have an annual trip to the Air Force Academy. Um, it's where we all take a bus ride up to Colorado and visit the Air Force Academy, tour the campus, go bowling, and on the Air Force Academy, we also attend one of their football games. We were fortunate enough to go this year to an Army Air Force game, and Army won, so go Army. <laughs> but, um, and we also get to see campus life of the Air Force. Um, a CBT, which is Cadet Basic Training, that's the summer of your freshman year. So you'll come in and it's a really fun week. You get to be introduced to things that we do and activities that we have. So it's like a fun introduction week before your freshman year or your first year that you join. We also have ice cream socials throughout the year. Action. <laughs> um, I'm Felicity. I'm a senior and I'm the Corps Commander in ROTC. Um, some teams that you can participate on in ROTC are Drill Team, Orienteering, Cyber Patriot, Saber Team, and Air Rifle. Um, I joined ROTC for the scholarship opportunities and to help prepare me for college after high school. And um, there are a lot of ways that it can prepare you for your future, whether that's in the military or whatever else job you want to do. Okay, I'm Bailey Anderson, um, second year cadet, and Oh yeah, I'm a rec officer. Uh, I joined it because I thought it'd be something interesting to do, and my friends were doing it, so I thought it'd be fun. All right, what are some of the core activities that you like? Um, I like the drill events. I mean, that's fun. So. Any other activities that you like? Gilbert Days Parade. Okay.
Dillard. I teach agriculture at Campo Verde High School. And the classes that we offer are animal science, vet science, applied biological systems, fabrication and engineering one, and fabrication and engineering two, as well as agricultural business management. In fabrication, students do project-based applications where they learn practices in plumbing, electric arc welding, stick welding, MIG welding, uh, oxy-fuel welding and cutting, concrete construction and wood construction. In animal science, we learn anatomy and physiology of animals, nutrition of animals, how to handle and care for animals properly. Applied biological systems, they learn basic science concepts in agriculture, anything from food science to animal and plant science. Agricultural business management goes over businesses in the, or business practices in the real world when we work with any kind of agricultural business, whether it's farming and ranching or seed companies that sell to those farmers and ranchers, equipment companies, people who market and product the stuff that is produced by farmers and ranchers. We cover all of those aspects. They're great classes to do. They earn students science credit, economics credit, computer credits, a wide variety of things, not just elective courses. I took anatomy because I knew that I wanted to go into the medical field and that this would help me a lot even going into college because I'd be able to look back and think about the things that I learned in my junior year. I took anatomy because you get to do dissections and um, it gives you a hand on experience. I ain't fibbing. Anatomy is hip. You'll hear it's hard, but it's going to be okay. I lobe you, and you'll lobe anatomy. That was humorous. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. I hear you're up for a challenge, so take honors anatomy. <laughs> I'm Mr. Applebach and I teach AP Biology and uh, I'm really excited about the class. It's a lot of fun. It's essentially the same ideas that we learn in regular biology that most freshmen take. Uh, the difference is, is that we go into much more depth with each topic. So um, it's definitely a challenge for students. But if you did well in biology, you probably will do well in AP Biology. Um, I pride myself on being able to explain topics really thoroughly and really well. Um, I'm really excited about how my students have performed on exams, particularly the AP exam. Students also have received um, lots of college credit in high school. I chose to take AP Biology because I've always loved biology and I think it's something Geology is a new science class for those interested in the study of the Earth. You use the Earth's material every day, like oil, water, metals, and rocks. Geologists study these materials to help plan mines and locate oil, natural gas, and groundwater. Have you ever wondered what causes a volcano to erupt or where and when an earthquake might occur? Well, geologists also study the Earth's process, like landslides, earthquakes, floods, and volcanic eruptions. Geologists also study Earth history like climate change and how it has changed over time. Also, geology can be a very interesting and rewarding career. 
Geologists work in a variety of settings like natural resource companies, environmental consulting companies, government agencies, nonprofit organizations, and universities. So sign up for geology because the better you understand the Earth's history, the better choices you can make to influence the future. Lexi. Hi, I'm Bree, and we're third-year biomedical students. Um, the biomed program has allowed me to branch out for individuality. It's taught me a lot of things like um, not to always rely on everybody else to give me the answers, um, as well as really just expanding my knowledge as far as like the medical field goes. Um, it has also allowed me to um, plan out for the future for the medical field. I personally would like to go into dermatology, which so it's it's very beneficial for people who would like to go through into the medical field. such as how to work with people, which has become a very important skill in today's workforce. You have to learn how to work with people, but like she said, also be self-reliant when things don't go right all the time. So you just really have to learn how to do that. Plus you meet a lot of great people who have the same interests as you, so it makes learning and other things like that a really cool experience. You should sign up for Biomed because it's a really great program. You learn a lot, and especially if you want to go into the medical field, a lot of the things that you learn, even within the first year, you're going to use again throughout med school and throughout like your career. So it's really good to have like that step ahead on everyone else. It looks really good on applications, and it opens up a lot of like doors and opportunities for great like experiences and job shadows and. Um, a lot of people are really willing to work with students that are in biomed because they know that they're like serious about their career and they're not just like, oh, I think this is cool. Like it just gives you a nice step ahead for like your career and for um, applying to medical school. <laughs> applications the finance of your life bring your finance to me I'll be 20 bucks. Alright, here you go. Alright. Whoa, 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 no, whoa, not a credit card, dude. Whoa. No. Are you kidding me? What the frick? <laughs>
Join financial apps class. This will happen to you. There is no escape. Rabbit, what are you waiting for? CTE program that provides an opportunity to learn medical trade in the field of athletic training. The program is a two-fold program. First, there is an academic class program that consists of Sports Med 1 and Sports Med 2, where any student can enroll as early as freshman year only on the Campo Verde campus. In the classroom, students will be introduced to the field of medicine as it applies to orthopedics and general medicine. 
The curriculum will provide an in-depth understanding of sports medicine and how it is applies to injuries sustained by active people. The second piece of sports medicine program is solemnly hands-on. Incoming 9th and 10th graders can apply in the spring to be considered as a student athletic trainer. Student athletic trainers work firsthand with all of Coyote athletes in providing medical care in the Campbell Athletic Training Room. Responsibilities include daily treatments, practice coverage, as well as game coverage throughout the year. Students interested should contact Mr. Matt Blackburn, head athletic trainer, if they are interested to be in being a part of the amazing experience. This is an amazing stepping stone for those students who are interested in pursuing medical in their future careers. Hi, this is Miss Diggs here to tell you about GC105, Community Outreach. It's a class that meets Mondays and releases Tuesday through Friday. During that release time, you get to go and serve in the community. By the end of the year, you have 200 hours of community service. We serve at Corsell Elementary. We serve at Campo. In the library. In the culinary. In anatomy. In the science department. In toy box. We're linked out. I'm using my hours at GC105 to work to incorporate a nonprofit organization called Linked Out, and it's a professional networking organization that helps match high school students with internships and job shadowing opportunities with professionals in the Phoenix area. We serve at Settlers Point Elementary School. I spend my time in first grade helping grade papers. I spend my time in fourth grade helping kids learn English. We spend our time volunteering at Spectrum Elementary. We volunteer in a kindergarten class and help them stay organized, and I love working with the kids. We serve at Ashland, Ashland Ranch Elementary. First grade, second grade, fifth grade. I volunteer at South Valley with the whole social studies department, keeping them organized and helping them prep for their lessons. We serve through GC 105 for a Veterans Heritage Project, like publishing our book. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you in the fall for GC 105. Donde mejorará tu habilidad para entender, comprender, leer y por supuesto, hablar. También te divertirás y harás amistades nuevas. Y si eso no fuera suficiente, también tendrás la oportunidad para recibir créditos universitarios. Ven y forma parte de nuestra familia. Be sure to sign up for Spanish 3 and 4 to improve your Spanish speaking skills, make new friends, have a great time, and of course, earn college credit.
Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by Campo Verde's Digital Media Department. If you like making videos, be sure to sign up for our class.